Greetings, uh, my friends. Today, I want to uh, talk about uh, Primo Vittoria, which is uh, Sabaton's uh, first ever album, which was uh, released back in uh, March 4, 2005, so almost uh, 19 years ago. Uh, and um, with this uh, uh, video, I at the first I wanted to uh, uh, review it, but uh, since I'm not uh, that good at music, I just want to talk about it, saying why like and saying why I didn't like. Like uh, one good thing about it is that uh, already as we start. Uh, Sabaton sounded uh, great, like uh, the instruments and uh, the solos. Well, not all of the solos, but we get, we will uh, get more into that. But it sounded uh, great at the uh, yeah, beginning, and it was only the first uh, album. And and together with that, uh, you again. He's, he sounded uh, awesome, and I'm not saying this because I have, am a huge fan of uh, Joachim. I'm just uh, saying this as a fan of uh, Sabaton, which should be, which might be the same thing, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, and and uh, when we uh, go into the bad, however. Which does have something to do with uh, uh, Joachim's uh, voice. In some songs, like Reign of Terror and uh, Stalingrad. I, I don't know. They somehow made uh, Joachim's voice s so echoey. Like uh, they added way too much uh, reverb when his voice doesn't really need reverb like in uh, in Primo Victoria I'm I'm pretty sure that there, there are some uh, reverb in the song but it's barely noticeable but it's very noticeable in uh, Reign of uh, Terror and uh, uh, what was it uh, Stalingrad um, but uh, otherwise, the uh, uh, the songs uh, doesn't uh, contain uh, that many uh, reverbs, and um, and the one thing that I didn't like, and it's not lost this one uh, album, but it is like music in general, and it's uh, when. Uh, when a band is trying to uh, to uh, include a, s a keyboard into the solo and uh, I think in the total I think uh, Sabaton has like two in this uh, one album uh, Panzer Battalion and Stalingrad and let me tell you the one in uh, Stalin Drag is awful. Like my my ears, my my ears literally hurts af after listening to that uh, solo. It's also awful in uh, Panzer Battalion, but uh, it's way worse in uh, in Stalin Drag. Otherwise, the solos uh, sound uh, uh, great. And um, I don't think I have more bad to say about uh, the original uh, tracks. Now, only uh, when it comes to uh, the Rearm uh, specific uh, tracks. Oh, um, no, actually, no. Uh, 
uh, when just uh, talking about the original uh, tracks, so like, uh, what was it? Uh, the nine original uh, tracks, they are all uh, uh, good, though the audio can be a bit bad, especially with uh, Jürgen's uh, voice. But uh, other than that, it's a, a good uh, album. But uh, talking, but uh, when it comes to uh, the Riom uh, uh, version, which added uh, how many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, tracks. Um, I do have a few things to say. Uh, like for example, uh, they uh, they included uh, the Master War. Uh, which is uh, the most uh, well-known intro uh, song was very oddly placed after uh, Metal Machine and in my honest professional opinion it should have been placed uh, before Prima Vittoria I mean it is an intro song isn't it but uh, I I guess that uh, due to the fact that uh, it's uh, it's a bonus track. It had to be uh, placed after me- Metal Machine, but uh, that is uh, that is just uh, what I would uh, done. And uh, then we also got uh, a song uh, called uh, "Stuck On," which, when you listen to the title, you think, "Oh, this one uh, really fits." doesn't like it doesn't have anything uh, historical about it it's just uh, something uh, you you can uh, wrote before even joined Sabaton and uh, I guess the band want to include it as a bonus track because honestly it fits more as a bonus track than a Sabaton uh, track um uh, oh and uh, oh yeah right uh, the live tracks uh got uh, into the fire uh live uh, track I don't have any specific uh, problems about it but uh, I honestly prefer uh, later live versions since like uh, the one I I watched live uh, back in 2023 but uh, then we have one very odd inclusion which was Rise of Evil a song that was uh, released on on a terror dom- dominatus uh, the album uh, which came after Prima Vittoria uh, uh, I mean the live track of it and I'm just I mean it, it is a good song but why is it on the, the Prima Vittoria uh, rearmed and not the Atero Dominatus uh, rearmed I checked it's not on it. Though it shouldn't. Uh, shouldn't, no. It should be on it. Still, a really good or oh, great uh, live version. But it shouldn't be on the Prima Vittoria uh, album. I, don't, I, I have no idea what they uh, thought. Uh, oh, and uh, yeah, we also got a Twisted Sister cover, which was uh, the Beast. Uh, it's a it's a little bit better than the original, but though not by much. Yes, better vocals, better, better guitar, guitars, and the solo is also better. So. That may be because I'm a huge fan of uh, Sabaton. 
but uh, I gotta ask, <laughs> why this song? <laughs> why not? Uh, we are not uh, gonna take it. Or I wanna rock. Those two are way better than the one they uh, serious. and they are on the same album. <laughs> Is it because it's uh, underrated? Is it because they uh, originally thought about uh, making a cover of uh, one of uh, those uh, two songs? I have no idea. All I can do is just uh, spe speculate because uh, the bass is pretty meh, if I'm being honest. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the only thing I can say about uh, the beast. S sorry, I'm not. Uh, I don't uh, really care that much about it. Uh, then the last track is uh, pretty fitting. Uh, Dead Soldiers uh, Watch. It's a pretty fitting uh, outro uh, song, and uh, I think they still use it sometimes. Um, uh, so, um, uh, in a summary, summary, goddammit, I can't speak. It's a good album, but the, uh, Rheom version is pretty strange. Didn't, uh, clear up the audio issues, or the mic issues. Um... And, uh, yeah, a strange uh, uh, re-release, but uh, still a good, good album. If you haven't um, made it this uh, far, uh, bear in mind that uh, these are just my opinions, my, my honest opinions. So if you have another opinion, please uh, write them in the comment section so I can see what y'all think about this uh, album. So uh, do that, uh, ring the bell, leave a like and subscribe and I will see you another time.